Howdy y'all, it's your host Rogue. Welcome back to Love of Games. We're gonna continue our playthrough of the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil and Me today. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, we're gonna continue on. We lost our favorite character, Jamie. So I'm kind of bummed out with that, but I'm very curious at uh, what we could still do. This bonus feature. I'm checking this out and then we'll go right back into the story. Oh, these are where you spin your little uh, opule things. That's cool. There's honestly not that much. I probably have enough to buy almost all of these. I thought there would have been more. Because we got like, well, I think it said 104. We're going to continue to play alone. Woo. We're on our way to the lighthouse. Like, everyone is outside. Uh, Mark and Charlie uh, found each other. Kate is by herself. I think her and Aaron got separated running from old uh, Dumont. A little loading screen looks like a Phillips head screwdriver. Yep. So we still got our light. Like I'm hearing other stuff moving around out here. I can't tell how much that was. I guess it was five. Before we go that way. I feel like going up is where we need to go. I want to explore to see if there's any secrets. Because there's a lot more to the story than what we were seeing so far. I understand Dumont getting around really quick Quick. quick in the house. I don't understand how he gets around really quick outside. Because there's not a lot out here. Born pant leg. Can I not? Can I not look at it more? Come on. There it goes. Is that a pant leg or a skirt? Yep. 
Nothing just got in the water. Dude, I'm hearing shit all around me. There's still that, like, dog out here somewhere. Oh, he found a card. Class C, not the license. Francis Morello. The Inferno. Thanks for the day out. Francis. <laughs> All right, now I'm confounded because I feel like if this was just a one off, we wouldn't be able to go as far as we did. I think I just saw something. I thought I just saw something walk by. Alright, maybe we should continue going the correct direction. I thought I saw a shadow move. Could be wrong. That leads us to the house. Where's this take us? I like that the music changed. Well, that leads us right. Okay, yeah, I actually think that'll probably be where we need to go. I don't want to quite go there just yet. Let's go to this little house looking thing. How many is it? Five? Time to shimmy. I think you're gonna end up in this cold ass water. This does not look steady. So you're going to an island in an island. Talk about Inception over here. Can I move? I want to look around it before I go do it.
Well, see, that's it right there. There's a key. Shed. Can't climb up on the roof. body of a man found inside the shed. His right hand has been severed. He appears to have died bleeding from his injury. The dead man was Francis Morello. His photo is on the driver's side. Alright. Theme park photo. Driver's license. So that was uh, the murder writer's brother. The, his wife and brother did not make it out alive, just him and his daughter. I'm actually really surprised we haven't ran into Aaron. Uh. And I'm really surprised you're not covered in mud, because you've been crawling around and jumping with this shit, and you butt skidded down the whole thing. And you come off clean as can be. Even your white tennis shoes. It was raining. Those are bigger than a standard uh, oil barrel. Gives me little hope vibes. And the quarry vibes right here. There's a mouse. You're a dog. Don't be a hurt dog. You would not have been able to maneuver that fast with that axe. Dude, don't you dare hurt the dog. Why is there a second one right there? Hurting the dog? No. 
Oh, I am not gonna hurt the dog. There's no way now. I have many dogs. I'm not gonna hurt a dog. No! I'm upset that they even gave that as an option. I have a Staffordshire Terrier named Zelda. Just my little pity. I can't imagine anything happening to her. Need a hand? Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, holy shit. You're okay. Erin. I'm so glad you're okay. Give me a hand. You're fine. Where's Kate? Jamie. Have you seen them? Do you know where they are? Kate and I got separated in the woods. Jamie. Jamie didn't. She's dead. What? Jamie's dead. You're sure? Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. I didn't think... Erin. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I found a way in. Come on. We have to keep going, guys. Amazing. Well done, Erin. You're not coming with us. What? Are you... I heard your call with Dumet. You set this all up. You set us up to die. Erin, you are out of your mind. I would never... You know you can trust me. Seventy percent of murderers kill somebody they know. Somebody who trusts them. It's seventy-nine percent. But I am not a murderer. We're dead in the water. And I can't think of a bigger cell than a dock crew recording their own murders while on assignment. Do you hear what you're saying? That is insane. You're in shock and you're not thinking straight. I would never... Mark, we need to tie him up until help gets here. He'll either stab us in the back or get Dumet to do it. Erin, I would... Quiet! Erin, whoa. I've worked with Charlie for a long time. He's selfish control freak who... Fuck any of us over if he had to, but he's not a mer. Hmm. Huh. So him and Aaron don't get along very well. Get along better than him and Charlie. Sir. I know what I heard. I believe you. Maybe that's what you were supposed to hear. Look, I'll watch him. Promise. You're both fucking mad. I don't think Charlie has anything to do with that. <laughs> they tried to make him a toasty marshmallow. After being the mentally fucked bus driver in Little Hope. Let's figure out how to get this thing working. Okay, I could definitely use a light in here. Uh, 
does not have to be so zipped. No, I'm trying to take his picture. It is dark as fuck it. This is going to be an area we get locked in, I bet. Dude, can I have, like, seen from his eyes or something instead of his jacket? Evidence address Chicago PD 1612 West State Street. Then it's my own recovery day. At 0600 hours, I, Officer Frank Hooper, discovered that one or multiple individuals had gained unauthorized access to the evidence room at 1612 West State Street. Among the missing items were assets recovered from the apartment of former FBI agent Hector Monday, including books, clothes, notes, surgical tools, and dental equipment. We are currently running with the theory that this was the direct result of souvenir hunters looking for a piece of memorabilia from the case. End of report. Can I continue to look at it? Dang. I don't care about this side, so we got Graham Dumont, Bell Camp, those are two names we know. None of the other ones stick out. Oh, Brandon Day and Leonard Kemp, I think, are both familiar ones too. So they all worked with Monday. We're not leaving the room yet. Found another card. I can't walk that little bit. I never said any of that shit. I'm such an idiot. I wanted this to work so much, I just accepted everything you said. It's been edited. I'm such an idiot. Jesus, I'm a sound tech and I fell for it. You're in shock. All of us are. Don't beat yourself up. So, Erin? I'm sorry, Charlie. Silver Spring University Science and Medicine. Hector Waylon Monday. Bachelor's of Science in Psychology, 1988. 
Did that say birth certificate? That ain't no birth certificate. That's a diploma. I know, I got like 11 of them. Unless, wait, can I flip those over? It's, I can pull it. No, I can't flip that. Alright. even like the freaking camera is so zoomed in either let me look through his eyes in the first yeah I know I saw something with that shadow either let me look through his eyes in first person or zoom me out far enough to actually be able to see what's what Boat. Looks like there may be another boat on the island. Mark and Jennifer Edwards. We can either go up or we could go in. The fuck? Clarence, I thought I should write you with the news you, since you haven't seen me in six months. You have a son, I gave birth a few weeks ago. I need to come back here. I can't do this alone. My parents are helping out, but they're both very old now. Come home, Clarence, please. El Monday. There's some. What's gonna jump out at us? Son of a bitch! Give me a dog any day. What the hell was that? You alright? Yeah, just a stupid cat. Alright, so those are probably actual stairs. That doesn't open. Can't really look up. I really thought I got was gonna get Kate killed earlier. But I was not gonna kill the dog. Or harm the dog. Can't see out the windows.
I don't want to turn that on yet. That's on immediately be like, hey, here we are. No way. Both sides are gone. Alright, so the only thing to do is to turn this on. Can I shimmy that? That does look shimmy wise. Oh yeah, he's the one scared of heights. Don't look down. Why is he the one on the top of the lighthouse? Tampering with this seal is a federal offense. Could close it so the weather doesn't get to it. It's already been raining. You're about to tell Demet where three of you are. You're an idiot. Don't look at the light. I don't even know why you would turn that on. That's not gonna... That would not help you escape. Keys lamp. So we got a few more. What's this? List of aliases. Oh, those are aliases. I thought those were uh, cohorts. So Jumet is Bell Camp and Brandon Day. Oh, I'm glad I went back and looked at that. Dear Mr. Monday, I am writing to inform you of an issue with plot R357P12-4 as the right permit. It is the name. It is my duty to inform you of a recent incident at the burial plot. Patch of soil has been disturbed and the headstone was moved from its base. I understand that this was the grave of your late mother, Lucinda Monday. Therefore, I appreciate that this news may be distressing. Unfortunately, on rare occasions, local wildlife may cause such disturbances. And we suspect that this may be the case of the incident. The matter of public safety is our duty to ensure plot maintenance and applause of a high standard and when you're swiftly corrected the disturbance, there may be no permanent damage. So the mother, grandmother or mother is dead. He 
You dug up your own mother. Boy who loves scary stories. You're a selfish monster. Always have been. Hey. Hey. Who are you? You literally just read the note. The lo lonely boy loved reading scary stories. Wow. He read scary stories all day and night. Oh, wow. He lived with his mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. Boy was tired or sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. The boy, the book gave him an idea of revenge. The boy sneaked through the house. He, he, he's ripped out and colored over the face of the mother. He jumped out and shouted and frightened the mother. Ah, he loves scary stories. Question is, where's Charlie Aaron? I saw that Dumont was with Mark. Right? Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Mark? I thought I lost you. You're not going to ask why he's down struggling to breathe? Good job, Charlie. You did something right for once. The only thing is you should have used the axe after you pushed him. You guys literally got a fire axe. Oh my god. Crew escape the lighthouse. Have you not picked up a single weapon? Do they see the boathouse? Why would the state police show up? Everyone knows where you are. You're on an island fully surrounded. Not an island in the ocean. What the hell? Oh. Hands where I can see them! All of you! The cop found the bodies of the ferryman and the girl. Oh. He killed them. No talking. I said 
hands where I can see them. Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. Sir, sir, behind you, the boat. Seriously, lady? There'd have been no way for that to have been thrown the way it was. Think grabbing the gun, I think that'd kill you. Normally, I would be like for sure get the weapon, but it's literally right at the dude's feet. I don't think there'd been any way to have stopped him from killing the police officer. Come on, this way, this should work. So that's interesting. Demet was able to kill the little girl. Work, damn it! Hey, hey, Connie! Good to see you, boy. Come on! Come on! Just work. Got in a little close. This was the most interesting one of them all. 110%. Like, I, I can see doing multiple playthroughs of this. I'd love to try to save Jamie. I don't know how. Because I really felt like if I didn't do what I did, Kate would have died. Not all of us. I'm just glad I'm in one piece. <gasps> Fuck. I had set down the controller. Dog was throwing water. Charlie is in the water. Watching. Yeah, she's probably gonna die.
Well, you need to go back, pick up the dog, pick up Charlie, pick up Aaron. Mark made it off the boat alive. Kate made it off the boat alive. <laughs> Again, y'all weren't that far that you couldn't swim from that island. If that song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a non-stop block of your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. Is that the truck accident that causes little hope? And I looked up, and there they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their fighting crew manager to safety of the mainland. Their hands and arms like a bunch of crazy. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Well, the dog made it sweet. Probably not going to make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. You know what? I think I'm going to see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. After this, starting over feels like a good idea. Yeah. Just promise me you'll tell me how it goes. Only if you promise to keep giving me unsolicited advice. Count on it. That's what I mean. That island is really freaking close. You don't know if Dumont is actually dead. Need a smoke, buddy. <sighs> yeah. It's your brand. I'm trying to quit. So, there are tons of bodies on that island. Tons of bodies. Triple H, one day, Henry Melchett, Grantham Dumont. things must come to an end but how good was the end for our crew 
Four out of five. Most of them survived, but sadly, there was someone who didn't. So, rest in peace. Jamie, the plug's been pulled and the lights are out. I don't think rewiring the fuse is going to help this time around. What about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago, but she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. Erin showed everyone that though she might be easily spooked, she found immense courage when she needed it the most. We never use the inhaler. Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. And the dog. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. Awesome. I swear he's like death. The mask is on shore. I don't think Dumont is dead. He was impelled, but it doesn't mean he was dead. Yeah. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render eight. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Why do you say some instead of one? Now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? If you bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense paid trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun. All right. This has been fun. I definitely would like to do another playthrough of this. Yes, I have come to get your soul and leave your body and leave it cold. To drop the flesh from on your face. There's a lot of people in this one. This is the most uh, in depth they've done with uh, Dark Picture series game yet. Won't 
to spare me over to another Now death, now death, if this is true, please give me time to... But yes, this was fun. Let me know what you think about the game in the comment sections. Like, comment, and subscribe. The Dark Picture series has been a very fun series. I definitely think I may do another playthrough of all of them. Maybe at least... Maybe two more playthroughs of all of them. I don't know. I'd like to see if we could save everybody. To see if we could kill everybody. I like how in this game they've, uh, they have advanced to make it where you can crawl, jump, move stuff around, like that's new to the series. Before it was literally just whatever you could do around the area. There were little points in this game what, uh, like I'm, I was amazed they never picked up a weapon. And then a few times where you could, it literally would have led to somebody's death, I felt. I am sad that Jamie died, though. She it was my favorite. There is so many people. As long as God in heaven should dwell, my poor soul shall burn in hell. I said, Oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over to another year? I said, I think it's awesome that the preview for the next game, it looked like we're going to be in space. I don't know how that's going to work out. That's going to be fun to see. Because all these games are connected. I'm gonna skip to the end because there's a lot. This is Commander Stafford. Oh, we gotta see the preview again. After successfully rendezvousing with a Gurb Desk marker, we have detached the booster ring and spurts a high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal, and our technicians are restoring full functionality. <laughs> This is Thomas Carter. Something's wrong with Sims. She's trying to kill me. Uh, I think... Our next transmission will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Staff it out. Directive 8020. Directive 8020. I wonder when that's, what year that's going to be. I think if it's going to come out in 2024 or 2025. But that was the devil in me. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Comment section, tell me what you think of the series. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next game. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Peace.